a dream I know Deep up my feelings feel the candidate of the People Democratic Party in the forthcoming September 21st, 2024 governorship election in Edo State, Dr. Aswa Hodalo, says he will make independent and informed decision if elected as governor of Edo State. Moving on after this, we have People Democratic Party yesterday berated the leader of the Progressive Congress in Edo State, Antineto, representing Edo North. Adam Sushumali over his constant criticism of Mr. Godwin's administration and they challenge him to name areas his administration performed better than Governor Godwin Obasiki. <laughs> my food is more wiggy. All right, my wonderful people, before we proceed, I welcome you back to my wonderful channel, Reality Letters Gist, as we they give one a back to back updates and information as we they hot. So if today is your first time of joining our wonderful channel, can they subscribe, like, comment, share, but don't forget to turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop our video because I'm sure you don't want to miss out the channel latest news happening on social media. It's all amazing subscribers. Thank you so much for joining us. So, guys, let's proceed. Dr. Sui Hodalo, who was a guest on Channel Television, Politics Today program on Monday said he won't repeat some of the mistakes of people in government, especially around managing relationships with predecessors. He assured voters in Edo State that he's not going to come into government to serve the interests of any godfather. For the forthcoming governorship election in Edo State has stopped contenders, including Dr. Aswi Hodalo of the People Democratic Party, Olumida Bata of the Labour Party, and Mondo Boholo of the All Progressive Congress. So Ihudalo, the former chairman of Nigeria Economic Summit Group, secured the endorsement of the incumbent governor, Governor Godwin Obaseki, who shone his deputy and party man, Philip Shaibo. Governor Godwin Obaseki and Philip Shaibo has been embroiled in protracted conflict over political succession in Edo State. So before now, Obaseki parted ways with his predecessor, Adam Zoshomole, in the build-up to his re-election in 2020. So recent happenings, however, show that the two men have sorted out their issues as they have been pictures together at political events organized by the states. A development which never happened while the spats lasted. But why Governor Godwin Obaseki and those Aswe Hodalu, Oshomole and Philip Shaibo has been united and featured prominently in the campaign train of APC, Mondo Oholu. Like Governor Godwin Obaseki and Oshomole, in a neighboring river state, also governed by the PDP in Niger Delta area, Governor Similari Fubara and his immediate predecessor in Yenson Wiki are far from being best of friends. When Axi Hodalo was asked how he's going to navigate the political space and potential issues that might arise with a likely controlling predecessor or godfather, Axi Hodalo said that definitely he will be a man of his own. Truly, he has been a man of his own since he was 18 years. So he was brought up by his parents to make his decision by himself and he has gone through life having done several things so his answer is he have been a man of his own and he will be a man of his own when he emerged as the governor of Edo state that doesn't mean he will not take advice from other people who have gone through similar experience so it is better that he said that because it is only a person who is a bit foolish that we go through certain endeavors and certain work type without taking advice so throughout his life he had had mentors he had a great mentors as he was growing up in his profession as a lawyer as a business person in the boardroom he had mentors, so he have always sought the advice of the people he looked up to and value. So he will do so all the same. <laughs> he said he will always seek advice so that he will avoid the mistake that others make. He will be his own man and nothing is going to change because he is a governor or anything else that he is. My people don't be so bad. And more so, there has been a jubilation over a court victory. That's it, Hodalo. Have further described the judgment of the Court of Appeal sitting in Abuja, which on Monday set aside a judgment delivering by Justice Nyangeko of the Federal High Court and affirmed him as the PDP governorship candidate for the September poll. So he said, with the distraction now out of his way, he can focus on the election before him. The PDP candidate, as Hodalo said, he would improve the lives of the people of the state if elected as governor, as he feels they are suffering. He also said that some policies of federal government were not well thought through and have been affecting the state despite the efforts of Governor Godwin Abaseki administration. He said in Edo said that he will conclude themselves and reverse the impact of the policies in the federal government. He expressed confidence that he will win the election as President Bola Metobu has assured the people of the state of a level playing ground 
doing the pool. <laughs> My people, let me know what your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions are in our comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Once again, thank you so much for staying to us. Moving on to the next one. The People Democratic Party berated the leader of the All Progressive Congress in Edo State and Senator representing Edo North. Senator Adam Sashimbolova his constant criticism of Mr. Godwin Obasiki administration and they have challenged Oshomole to name errors his administration performed better than Governor Godwin Obasiki. He <laughs> might probably small baby. Oshomole, why the APC governorship campaign on Saturday in Ibobo local government area of the state? He said that the next government will carry out a comprehensive audit on the privatization regarding the hospital administration management as well to ensure that corporates behind an alleged fraudulent deal that makes healthcare accessible only to rich are persecuted. He also alleged that Governor Godwin Obasiki and the PDP candidate as are applying to ring the September 21st governorship election. He said they don't dance too much and allow them to compromise the electoral process by stealing PVC and deny the opportunity to vote. That they will defend those rights, they will do so peacefully in a civilized manner. I don't know what, say that. what is at stake in this election is much more than they can easily understand. But addressing the journalists at the press conference yesterday, the deputy director of media of ASOJ campaign, <laughs> Reverend Ulu Martin, said. Adam Sashimbolo administration has been one of the most corrupt, chaotic, and most dishonest of all administrations that has ruled Edo State. Martin's who challenged Oshimbolo to show areas his own administration has performed better more than Governor Godwin Obaseki's administration. He said as they approach the September 21st election, it is apparently clear that the APC, as led by their leader, Comrade Adam Sashimbolo, has perfected the art of lies even at his age. <laughs> he said the APC has been pretending as if to say it has never been in power in Edo State. That all they hear from them is that Governor Gordon Obasiki did this, Seki did that. But from 2008 to 2016, he had the leadership of Comrade Adam Sashimbolo as Governor of Edo State. And it is important to do an analysis on how the state fared under his administration of Adam Sashimbolo and the leadership of Governor Gordon Obasiki. Fortunately, he was prominent in the civil society and he can tell them clearly what their experiences were. That the administration as led by Adam Shumole was the most corrupt, most chaotic, most brutal and was the most dishonest. That he remember once when Senator Femi Okunremi was going around the nation in consultation for the proposed national conference by President Gulag Jonathan that they were at the Imaguro College and Comrade Adam Sashimbolo as the governor came there to grandstand. But he was confronted and before they all know it, some boys has moved in, led by some thoughts and scattered the hall right in front of the mobile police brought from Abuja and other neighboring states to protect Senator Okuremi. Those in his entourage. So they also remember the time when Nigeria Labour Congress led by Emmanuel Ademoko in the state protested at the palm house that has been reconstructed and he was beaten black and blue and the next day he had plaster on his head beaten by the former national president of nigeria labor congress that tells them what adam social did when he was governor of those states he might put a bit more bad that According to Matt, he said there was no protest they had that were not beaten with Adam Sashimula as the governor of Edo State. That it weren't Kabaka. It will be no molest. So for them, it was a surprise for Adam Sashimula who built a reputation with cost confrontation of government as the Nigerian Labour Congress president. That a former commission for information in administration of Adam Sashimula and now the APC director of public and publicity, Orobasal Mojo, in his book, The Breach of Trust, said that Adam Sushumli is good at picking weaker vessels in place of stronger people for his admission. So what are they talking about? <laughs> the Sushumli should stop their lies. So I guess I would like to know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions in our comment section. I would love to hear from you once again. Thank you so much for staying with us. On this note, we have come to the end of this segment. Like, on be honest. Bye for now.